But first to the top story right now. At least 40 people are dead in Iran after a massive earthquake measuring 7.8 on the Richter scale hit the Pakistan-Iran border. Radio Pakistan has reported that five deaths in the Kharan district of Balochistan have also taken place. That's right. And the tremors were also felt in Delhi and other parts of North India at about 4.30 this evening. So if you were in the NCR, you would have felt the impact. Just imagine what impact it must have had at that epicenter. Pakistan and the Middle East also experienced tremors. The epicenter of the quake was 86 kilometers away from the city of Khash in Iran, and at the border with Pakistan. According to the U.S., Iran's uh, nuclear facilities are safe. A state of emergency, though, has been declared in Saravan in Iran. Today, at 4 o'clock in 14 minutes, there is a storm. जिसका एपिसेंटर पाकिस्तान ईरान बॉर्डर रीजन में है और इसका मैग्नीट्यूड जो है 7.8 मापा गया है और ये पूरा नॉर्थ इंडिया में जम्मू एंड कश्मीर राजस्थान हरियाणा दिल्ली में भी फील फील की गई है और इसका एक आफ्टर शॉक भी हुआ है जो 6.3 मैग्नीट्यूड का मापा गया है ये 1624 आईएसटी पे रिकॉर्ड की गई है और इस अटके की वजह भारत में कोई ज्यादा नुकसान की कोई संभावना नहीं है क्योंकि ये पाकिस्तान ईरान बॉर्डर रीजन में होने के वजह से The concentration really there on the Pakistan Iran border with CNN's Marie Ramos has more on the quake we're looking at here is the shake map and it's colorized depending on the intensity. The intensity here, according to this, would have been anywhere from strong to very strong. And if we get even closer to the epicenter, you'll see a little bit of a severe of that red starting to pop up, which would indicate severe shaking. Now, this happens in an area where earthquakes do tend to happen. However, it is farther away than those uh, um, fault lines or plate tectonics, but it is in a very, very rugged terrain and difficult to uh, reach. Now, you have uh, this line right over here. Here, this would indicate uh, the division line between the Arabian plate and the Eurasian plate. They clash into this area right in here. Um, so an area not, uh, let's say, a stranger to powerful quakes. However, this one was particularly powerful, felt as far away, as you said, as New Delhi and across the Gulf region. I want to show you something pretty interesting, and I've showed you this before. This is the Did You Feel It? And this is from the U.S. Geological Survey. And people from uh, the area that felt the quake can actually go in there and report what they felt and how. And you can see over here in Kandahar, there's reports of shaking. Over here, uh, the green, that would indicate stronger shaking there, and even Karachi. When it first uh, popped up, uh, people there were reporting only light shaking. We're starting to see some people report even more moderate shaking. So this is a quake that was felt widespread across the area. Of course, the immediate danger, if we go back to the other map, will be in this border region between Iran and Pakistan. This will be the area that would have experienced the most intense shaking. This was a relatively shallow quake for it to be so intense, only about 15 kilometers deep. And the, those seismic waves would have traveled very, very far across this area. I would expect to see some significant and damage in those areas closest to the quake. So we'll just have to wait and see until we get some confirmation of that.